When we're performing joint mobilization for the thoracic spine, if our contact is going to be a spinous process, that's very easy to feel because they stick out, and with the kyphotic curve, they stick out quite a bit, and it's easy to palpate them. But some mobilization techniques require us to contact a transverse process instead, and they can be more challenging to find and palpate. So let's take an example. If my hand here represents one vertebral level, and my thumb is the spinous process, and my index finger is the transverse process at that level, if I palpate down and find a rotational distortion where the spinous process is rotated in this particular scenario off to the left, then I would want to contact the corresponding transverse process of the same segmental level and therefore mobilize that vertebral level back. But to do that, I need to find the corresponding transverse process. So there's one easy technique for doing this. Let's say that this is the spinous process that I want to find its corresponding transverse process. I place my thumb, I lightly palpate on the spinous process. I start up higher, and if I'm looking for the right side transverse process, I start on the right side, and I start lateral to the spinous processes over the level of the transverse processes. And I like to start ridiculously high, and clearly, if I push on this transverse process, there will not be much or any motion of this spinous process. And I keep going down one level at a time until I find a point where I press on a transverse process that I can feel most clearly motion of the corresponding spinous process, like this, here. Now sometimes, even if I'm not on the corresponding transverse process, if this segmental joint level is locked up, it's hypomobile, then when I move this vertebral level, this level might move a bit. And that might throw me off, but I'll still keep going down and I'll feel the most motion when I get to the actual corresponding transverse process. Once I find that, then I can use whatever contact I would like to do the mobilization on the transverse process. Now demonstrating this on our client here, Justin, if this is the specific spinous process that I found the rotational distortion, and I want to find its corresponding transverse process, then I place my left thumb on the spinous process. I go to the right side of the spinous processes. I'll use my other thumb. I start again ridiculously high, and I just keep going down until I get to the point where when I press down, there we go, I can feel that point here when I push down, that transverse process causes this spinous process to move, and therefore I now know I've found the transverse process, and therefore if I want to mobilize it, I can set my contact, I'll do a soft tissue pull, set my contact, and then I can do the mobilization.